Hello guys, Matthew here and welcome back again to the Tactic YouTube channel. I haven't done any regular 2.5 inch SSDs in a while, so this Kingston's new UV400 model which I have here comes in at the right time, especially since it's a more value oriented series. As you can see the packaging is pretty simple as it usually is when it comes to budget SSD models. Just the cardboard packaging with a clear plastic window on the front showing off the SSD. While around it you can find some information like the capacity of the particular model which was 480 gigabytes in my case. Alongside of some usual marketing jibber jabber, 3 year warranty claim and information about it on the back. This won't be an unboxing as much as it will be cutting the package open and scissoring it. Okay, let's try this again. Expectedly no bundle, just some instructions on the inner wall of the cardboard packaging and here's the SSD itself. There isn't that much to talk about in regards of the UV400 design, it's pretty much straightforward and bare bone as it can be with this clean looking 7mm thin outer shell, carrying only on the outside Kingston's logo and sign on the top, while on the back we have a small declaration sticker, while down there you can also see the SATA power and the SATA 3 data connectors. Behind that metal housing Kingston is hiding a few well known components when it comes to entry level SSDs, that being the quad channel Marvel's controller and Toshiba's 15nm TLC9 flash, coupled with 512MB of DRAM cache module, which is paired with about 8GB of TLC flash in the case of this 480GB model, which is then being treated as SLC cache of the drive. Putting the UV400 to the test, I ran by it a couple of your standard benchmarking software. It held up pretty decently as you can see it here, sequential read and write speeds are above 500 megabytes per second, IOPS numbers are decent, while the only more serious complaint falls onto the sustained write speed, where performance dips down to about 100 megabytes per second after just few seconds of benchmarking, probably once the cache gets full. Although this is a downside, it's not that big of a deal if you have in mind that we are talking about a drive which will serve a purpose of being a primary drive for your operating system, games and other applications, where that kind of sustained speed for a prolonged time isn't needed at all. Last but certainly not the least, as a final piece of information, the UV400 comes in different storage flavors, ranging from 120 to 960 gigabytes, and in two different packaging, first being this basic one that I have here, while the second one being their classical upgrade bundle set for cloning the existing drive to a new one, with all the necessary cables, brackets, software and even an external housing. That's it guys for this time from me, thank you once again for checking out the unboxing and review of the Kingston's UV400 SSD. Feel free to give this video a thumbs up if you like it, that helps me a lot. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions about the product and of course if you would like to see more content like this you can subscribe to the Tactic YouTube channel or you can just check out some of my other videos from before.